Apartheid in South Africa crumbled after Nelson Mandela walked to freedom. But black people suffered decades of government-backed injustice before it did. Apartheid really began in 1948, but separating black Africans from the white minority had long been a policy aim. Laws made white people officially superior, and the large black majority faced discrimination in every aspect of their lives. Living, doing business or owning land in white areas was banned. There were separate public facilities, transport and schools. Interracial marriage was banned. Many had no right to citizenship and were regarded as aliens in major cities. Instead, they were made citizens of Bantustans, homelands scattered throughout South Africa. But resistance grew. In 1960, a huge peaceful protest against past laws ended in a massacre at Sharpeville. 69 people were killed. The deaths galvanized opposition, radicalizing liberation movements like the ANC. There are many people who feel that it is useless and futile for us to continue talking peace and non-violence. Open conflict erupted in the 1980s, with anti-apartheid activists frequently shot at, beaten or arrested. Mass protests were firmly put down. But little by little, the apartheid establishment crumbled. After gradual reform, Nelson Mandela, in prison since not long after Sharpeville, was set free in 1990. Four years later, he was elected as South Africa's first black president. Apartheid had ended.